Hi everyone, this is Runner Rocky and welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, Mr. Rocky Chua Batara. Hello. Hi. Hello. Thank you, Ms. Charmaine. And hi, Samantha. Hi there. Hello. So for my question, first, what is the role of the COVID-19? I'm sorry, you were freezing when you said your question, so I couldn't hear you. Sorry, I repeat connectivity issues. So, my first question, what is the role of technology in post-COVID-19 fitness industry? And follow up to that, will the current shift to the digital fitness experience continue? Yes, and so, you know, as you could see from my presentation, the, the switch to digital and in fitness has been happening for a long time, you know, over the last few years and during this past couple of months of the pandemic, we've had no choice but to speed up that transition. And so I think that even as um, gyms start to open and we start to get back outside, I think that people have realized the convenience of online that they can do it in their own time out of the comfort of their own home and so i think that companies are going to continue to innovate i think it's a space that's not going away and i think actually it's a space where people are going to rely on it even more so not just for fitness training but i'm noticing my sister's a health coach in the uk health coaching is going digital visiting your doctor is going to be more digital than ever before i think that as people become more comfortable with being on technology i think that it's going to continue um there were a lot of holdouts prior to the pandemic people who are a little older um like my mom's age that were staying away from technology and this has forced all of us to up level our game so even somebody like me i'll be honest i was never the best at technology but you know i've had to work my way around zoom be able to troubleshoot on my computer so whereas before i think that digital fitness would have been centered around your your millennial age group now computers are more accessible for that older generation so i think that it's going to just continue to grow um i think we're going to continue to see more of the industry jump online the one-on-one -on -one personal training um of course I, many people are looking forward to getting back in person but i think that the digital space is amazing because it opens up the world to so many more people gives people so much more access and whereas before a lot of fitness and online services were very expensive that playing field has been leveled now that a lot of it's for free and i think to me somebody who's passionate about spreading fitness to everybody the fact that companies are offering these things for free is just going to transform the world i think more people are going to get active healthy and more educated so if there's any silver lining that can come from a tough time i think one of them is people's desire to learn and move so i love your question and um um, I'm smiling because my connectivity issues are so bad every day that I'm just feeling glad that today is <laughs> It's a pleasure. Thanks for letting us in your home. <laughs> yes, thank you, Samantha. And we'd like, love to know that. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much, Rocky. It's so nice to see all of our media guests today. Thank you for watching Karakers. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button here in my YouTube channel Runner Rocky for more updates, vlogs, reviews, reactions, celebrity interviews, Thai BL news, and livestream videos. See you all!